going to go through approximately eight points and hopefully these eight points will help you. Point five, grow your network. It means reaching out to different people within your organization. Build a strong network. People that you can rely on, people that you can reach out to when you need help. Your network should be not just within your department. Having a strong network will allow you to build on connectivity. Get to know people with different interests. Get to know people with different ideas. That way, you will learn new things and you will be picking up things that's not normal to you. And that's how you're going to grow. So networking is very important. Reach out to someone today. Point number six, you need to be able to work across all levels. That means not just working with your boss. You need to work with people of your same level, but more importantly, working with junior staff, people that are less senior than you. The junior people that they look up to, when they look up to you, they will say, oh, this person is someone I respect. He treats me well, he gives me the time of day, he does not brush me off. So if you want to be successful in your organisation, you need to be able to work across all levels. Point number seven, be patient. Prioritise, work things out, learn. Our jobs, our career is a journey and it's a marathon. It is not a sprint. You will make mistakes. You will be successful in certain areas. You need to be resilient because when you make mistakes, you will fall but you need to pick yourself up. So you need to be patient. My last point, as much as we are all caught up with our careers, wanting to keep moving up the value chain. As much as we want to get promoted, remember this, we still need to get a life. It means having interests outside of your company. You know, I, I always use this example, it's like dating, right? So when you go on a date, what do you do? You try and find areas of interest between your date and yourself. It could be about food, it could be about music, whether it's yoga, pilates, football. You're trying to find an angle to make conversation. And that's what getting a life is all about. Go out there, have fun, learn new things, get a life. I think you've got to learn or you've got to do things that you love doing, not what you want to do. I think that's very important and a very distinct point. When you do things that you love, you will be successful. Do things that you're passionate about, you will be successful. I'll give me an example. If you were not good at reading long documents, if you are not good at paperwork, and if you were stuck in a department like credit analysis or operations, I think that would be a problem because it's not something that you love doing. But if you are high energy, like to keep moving, like to learn about new things all the time, you can handle volatility. Then maybe financial markets, whether it's foreign exchange, equities, things that make you excitable. Do things that you love doing, not what you want to do. When people ask me if I have a personal philosophy in life, I usually tell them there is no secret ingredient. The reality in life, for me, is just be better you are today than you were yesterday. Continuous learning is something that we all need to do. And it doesn't matter whether you're in engineering, you're an accountant, a banker, just keep improving by doing courses, by attending classes, by doing online training. Go out there, the internet, everything is on the internet. So just keep learning.